Now on Night Beat, the Oakland teacher strike is over, but at what cost? Tonight, the district approves drastic school cuts. Say teachers sold them out with their new contract. Night Beat's Kristen Ayers on all the drama after the strike. Um, I don't think that students are re well represented in the school board just because I have never seen students really at the meetings um, and their voices being heard. I felt that a lot of strong opinions were said and that it was really empowering just for a lot of students to go up and say what they've been wanting to say for a really long time to the point where um, our voices really came together. Well, from, from the the board meeting that I went to, it didn't really seem like they were taking into consideration what students were saying. It seemed like they were kind of just bored of being there and they kept threatening to go upstairs. I guess they were going to a different room or something, but it was like, like first of all, you're having the meeting in the middle of a school day and like you're trying to make students come to school. So how are you gonna say that you care about what students in the community has to say when you're doing it when people are at work and when students have to be in school? Um, I think that we clearly have some trust issues between the community and students and the school board and I think a lot of that is because we need to do a better job of educating people about how schools are funded in California. I think it's important is for people to understand what the issues are so that when the decisions are made they can say, oh, okay, I wouldn't have done it that way but I understand why they did do it that way. Functions, it's just one, when responding back to the community, they do it so un, so unrelated on how we ourselves function. And so we all, when a specific uh, example or just multiple examples that fall into that category are when the timer runs out, the one minute that you're um, legally um, allowed to speak on. And some people want to speak more, which I respect that. I completely understand why, and it definitely should be much more um, time that they are given. But the fact that um, either the President Ying and some other board members decide to shut down or just uh, just completely cut off the mic, it's just not a really good way on uh, to see them on them as a person, but as their job is just what they have to do, and that's what really sucks. And so it's just there's that miscommunication of. This is what we have to do, but this is what we don't want to do. And at the current circumstances, I was I was feeling very upset, and due to the fact that I I wasn't um, part of the process of when the superintendent and her team were uh, definitely uh, deciding on what should be cut and what should not be cut. But besides that, we had a private meeting with some ACC people and me myself on on giving uh, her and the superintendent some feedback on what should be definitely protected, what came from the student budget, pro uh, the four student bu bu budget priority areas. Mm -hmm. I can't really name them on top of my head, but yeah, it's been a while since we... Preferential vote is just basically the nicer way to say that you don't have a vote. Yeah. <laughs> and so it, it's, it just, it's just, it's just there to kind of create an illusion of, of, of power, right? And I, I'm very grateful and um, definitely, um, I can definitely recognize uh, the, the work and effort Hema and other student directors have done to actually being able to say yes or no to certain agenda items. But yeah, that's, that's what, the, what the preferential vote is. And so another thing about it is that when you go back and look on what has been voted upon, you can see who and what student directors um, have voted on. So it's either a yes, no, or abstain. So it's in the books. So when I get hired or when I do something else, you know, people can look back into the history and, you know, not so good for me. I believe that students are not well represented in the board because I feel like they say things that we want to hear but don't actually take action on it. I feel like 
they t they should take more consideration of the student needs instead of like the money and the budget cuts and all that stuff because all the budget cuts are not actually benefiting us. Like, how is that benefiting us if you're taking our resources, all our programs that we actually need? I don't think student representation needs to be changed because we already representing ourselves. What needs to be changed is their the way they see us as the way they see us as like we don't have the power to change our education system or you know, provide what are they're um, taking from us, but we actually doing that. So I feel like we don't need to be changed because we're already doing our job right and they need to do theirs right. Like they tend to be shut down or like a lot of people tend to not listen to us just because we're students and we're young. Um, but I think that as the future generation that our voices are the voices that have to be heard. Mm -hmm.